Welcome back to my channel, JMPR Cloud Tech, where you'll be learning Salesforce from a learner. That's me, Preetam Angya. In the previous videos, we have covered all these items from Object Manager. In today's video, let us look at object limits, field sets, related lookup filters, and search layouts for Lightning and Classic. Coming to Object Limits section, this shows various kinds of Salesforce limitation for each object. We can see that there can be a maximum of 500 custom fields per object. And on this menu object, we have already used seven of them. Let's say Astro comes around and says, we need more. What can we do as a Salesforce consultant? We can reach out to Salesforce support team and they would increase the limits based on existing partnership. But whatever the limit is, it would definitely have an upper limit due to Salesforce system architecture. Like for each object, roll-up summary limit is 25. Even if you request support to raise the limit, max they can raise is up to 40 roll-up summary fields. Moving on to field sets. These are generally used when customizing a form using Visual Force page or in Apex controllers. We can even use them in LWC, but that would need a lot more tweaking. The main use of field set is when you're building a custom application to be hosted on Salesforce App Exchange. But there can be scenarios where we can still use field sets. As an example, let's say Astro wants a new field on menu object called Today Special and wants a quick way to update it. We can create a field set to show a limited set of fields for a quick update. Let's name it Quick Update. We will add these three fields inside the right side section called In the Field Set. The left side section is where you would generally put fields which your customers who install your application from App Exchange would have access to. This ensures your App Exchange application is customizable in a controlled manner. Let us quickly create a Visual Force page which would use this field set to display a mini form. We will learn various programmatic approaches in future videos. Do subscribe to follow me. Now let's edit the menu record page. We will add the Visual Force page that we created just now. Save it and you have a quick update form ready to use. You can notice users can update today's special quickly from here. And if in future they need a new field in this same section, by just updating the field set, we'll reflect it in the menu record page. Let's add the menu type here. And if we go back and refresh, it is readily available for quick edit. Now Astro says, that's great, we can quickly update today's special. But here on menu items, we are able to choose all users, not only chefs. Integration user is not a chef. To solve this requirement, we have the related lookup filters. These are very useful to filter records visible on lookups. Let's go ahead and create a related lookup filter from the user lookup field called as chef. We will choose the options chef profile name is equal to chef profile. Once we save this filter, if we go back and try to edit the chef lookup, we can see that integration user no longer shows up. Small work, but lot of business value added in terms of cleaner data. All is going smoothly and Astro suddenly calls me up and says he wants to show me some difficulties that he is facing. He quickly shares his screen to show that whenever he tries to do a global search to find specials, he sees these two records, M8 and M10 but does not know what they are. He has to open the record to see details. He asks me if this layout can be customized to make it more readable. 
The answer for this is search layouts. These are useful to control which users see what columns while doing a global search. Now let's add the fields title and type to this default search layout. We will save this and retry the global search. Well, that was simple and easy configuration. Search layouts for classic has similar functionality. List view, lookup dialog, search filters, and tabs in Salesforce Classic. Astro is very happy today with all these customizations around object limits, field sets, record lookup filters, and search layouts for Lightning and Classic. He has few new requirements which I'll be covering in my future videos. Please do like, share, and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos.